I'll just see you at soccer later, okay? All right, bye-bye. Sorry about that, folks. I'm Sarah McGuire. Welcome to the McGuire household. You see, we've recently been chosen as the first family to test the Honda Osmo robot in our home. <laughs> I just sent it out to check for the mail. It is so much fun to see the neighbors' faces when they first see Osmo. <laughs> oh, hi, Mrs. Pinkett. No, <laughs> it's a robot. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, if you're not familiar with Osmo, you will be amazed at the way that it... You know what? You're just going to have to see it to believe it. Now, when we first met Osmo, we found out that its name stands for Advanced... Like us. In fact, Osmo's balance is one foot. 
like this. <laughs> okay, well Osmo makes it look easy, but it must continuously analyze data from all of its sensors and 34 separate servo motors. You know, Osmo, it looks like you can do just about anything. Oh, you can't fly yet. But I can play soccer. Yes, you can, and I'm sure we have a ball here yet. Get to show off a little bit. All right, now, hold on, don't kick it just yet. I want to make this official. We'll use these skull posts. All right, Osmo, go for it. Oh. Oh! Good job, Osmo! <laughs> you know, Osmo, kicking that ball requires some very technical effortlessly throughout your environment. It is really easy to see how valuable you're going to be helping us out around the house here. Oh, I got it! Osmo, would you please use your wireless networking capabilities Go online to get the weather forecast for tonight. Yes, I will go online. Great. My husband and I are going out for anniversary. <laughs> Hardly cloudy, with a high in the mid-60s. Good to know. I'll bring the sweater. Now, although Osmo's current role is as a helper in the home, someday it might be able to do jobs that are dangerous for humans, like fighting fires, or working in unhealthy environments, like cleaning up toxic spills. But I'm not only designed to help, I can also have fun. And I think I know just what you're talking about. Hey, would y'all like to see Osmo dance? Yeah? yeah? yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, you heard him, Osmo, so hit it! by reading a mark on the floor using a sensor that's located. Go for it. Now with each step, Osmo must adapt and continuously counterbalance using all of its sensors and computing power made up right, adjusting all along the way. Way to go, Osmo. And to start step forward in human technological progress. All right, Osmo, would you please peek into the room on your right for me? Looks perfect. Thank you, Osimo. You're welcome. Now, if you thought the way up was hard, it takes even more balance and precision to make it back down. Whenever you're ready, Osimo. Now, once again, Osimo will locate the proper position by using the sensor in its torso. And then once it detects the right position, it will descend the stairs. Once again, continuously adjusting and counterbalancing as necessary wow. all the way back down. Nicely done. You know, I don't think there's anything that can talk now. Um, I think we have plenty of room, so why don't you go ahead and get ready? Okay, this is really exciting, folks. Um, This is something that I haven't had a chance to see in person yet, although I've heard of. But Osmo can actually run. And it looks like Osmo is warming up, which is something we should all do before any physical activity, right? You know, no one wants to get a cramp in a servo motor. <laughs> now, in order to run, both of Osmo's feet must leave the ground at the same time, if only for a moment. And Osmo is the only life-size humanoid robot in the world that can run at high speeds of nearly four miles per hour. Or in metric, six kilometers per hour. Are you ready, Osmo? I am ready. All right. 
on your mark. Get set, go! Oh, oh that was so cool! Oh my goodness, awesome. Turn around real quick. <laughs> We've got to see this in slow motion. Look, this is amazing. All of our new friends here. Goodbye, everybody. And everybody, let's hear it one more time for Awesome Mo.